The built-in vignette in Final Cut Pro isn't great. I don't like it, so I'm going to show you how to build a better vignette in Final Cut Pro. No plugins required. Let's say a couple of things to start off with. First, you do not need any third-party plugins to get a great vignette. You already own all the tools in Final Cut Pro to do so. Secondly, a like and subscribe is always appreciated and really does help. Okay, here we have some footage shot on the beach and I want to make it pop. I just need to do an overall color correction first, so I'll call up the waveform monitor so I can see what's going on. Then apply a color correction using the wheels and just correct the blacks down to zero and the whites up to 100, which I think they were nearly there anyway. That gives us a nice balanced shot, showing back the camera shadow on the right hand side, maybe that's an opportunity for another tutorial. Let's now add a vignette to bring the sky edges in and give us a nicer look, concentrate on the actual subject matter. I do this by applying another instance of the colour wheels, although it could be any of the versions, colour board etc, doesn't really matter. Then apply a shape mask by clicking on the icon and that calls up the overlay in the viewer. Then select the area that the mask controls to the outside. So instead of correcting what's in the circle, it will affect what is outside of the circle and the fall off area. I'm going to bring the overall exposure down so I can see what I'm doing with the mask. Then adjust the size and shape of the mask. You can do this by dragging the lines, the larger being the start of the fallout edge or graduation. You can change the shape and move the position. It might help if you zoom out so you can see the whole mask. Sometimes to get a very even graduation it needs to be quite large. Now if I go full screen, either by clicking on this button here or going Command Shift F to go full screen, you can actually see we've got the lines on the main monitor. This is the edge, so anything inside of this edge here is unaffected by the colour correction. That's the graduation to the colour correction, then anything outside of this has got the same colour correction. Should you lose the on-screen mask, just go to the inspector and click on this little icon and that will bring it back. Sometimes you might be up one end of the timeline, change a grade and want to bring it back or move something and to get it back just click on there and then you can go back to moving the mask as you were. And that's not bad for a first go. I quite like the shading in the corners, it's nice and subtle and then really that's half the battle. If you can see a graduation it's probably a bit too much. This might be a bit too dark here, but if I turn it on and off, you can see we pull the image in. It gives it a bit more of a filmic quality. The image or the light fall off towards the edges on there. But try and keep it as subtle as you can. You can actually go further. If you're making a promo, you can maybe pull the shadows down and pull those in. You can turn the color up, maybe not too much but it gives you that flexibility, far, far more flexible than the built-in vignette in Final Cut Pro. Don't forget there's the Save Effects preset in the bottom right-hand corner, and you can click that and save this effect. So you don't have to keep drawing the mask and the color correction. If you just want a nice, subtle graduation and use it every now and then, you can save it as a preset effect so you don't have to build it again. And that's how to get better vignettes in Final Cut Pro. See you on the next one, bye-bye. Thank you.